Hello friends, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I am going to talk about a wonderful feature in Python. If you are an expert in any programming language, uh, our motive will be to reduce number of codes or number of lines, right? Python provides excellent way to reduce number of code when it comes to for loop, especially when you deal with the arrays and all. In Selenium also, we deal with a lot of uh, list of web elements, right? And there also you can apply this logic single line for loop concept we have different types of features uh, in single line for loop uh, let me explain that one by one here and also i will show you how we can apply those in our automation framework so let's go to the video so let's say uh, in python uh, i want to print uh, numbers from 1 to 10 how can we do that we have this range uh, function in python right so range of 10 will uh, give you numbers from 0 to 9 right so let's use that so i have created a, a python file uh, which is called one line and let me write a function df get all and let me write uh, a function not to print numbers from 1 to 10 okay so let me write for i in range of 10 and the next line you can see print of i so that you should it should print numbers from 0 to 9 now let's create the object of the class one line and let me create an object one line and the reference variable same one line and we can call that function using this reference variable right one line dot get all So we got the output uh, numbers from 0 to 9, right? When we run the script. So this is a normal for loop, right? So how many lines we have written here? Uh, two lines of code, right? Now, how can we make that into a single line? Uh, for that, what we can do? Just move this uh, print line into the first line. You can just add both lines in the single line, okay? The same line. Then also you should get the same output 0 to 9. So that is working fine, right? So uh, two lines we reduced to a single line. Now let's say you have an array of some numbers and you want to print out each element in that array. So instead of using the range, you can just give the array name, right? Array. So I've declared an array uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. And instead of range of 10, we can make, uh, we can give uh, array name, right? Then we will be getting the numbers uh, listed in the array right one two three four so now let's say you have two arrays so the first array array one has a list of numbers okay and you you want to form array two by adding a number uh, let's say one to each number in the array one to so you want to add one to each numbers in array one and you want to create a new array array two okay so let us define two arrays array one uh, which we have already have one two three four and array two let's say uh, let it be an empty array right now let's create an for loop for i in and we need to iterate through array one right array one and then array two dot append off and what we need to happen we need to iterate through each element in array one and we need to add one right so that you can give i plus one and finally we can print out the array print of array two now let's run the script see uh, array one was one two three four and array two is formed by adding one which is two three four five right how many lines of code we have written here one two three four and five lines of code right even this we can reduce it to a single line to do that you don't have to declare a new new array you can remove all these things instead you can just say print off i want to print i plus one so what is i here i is nothing but the member of element in array one right so i plus one for i in array one so it will iterate through each element in array one and it will add number one to this and it will finally print out right since we have a list of elements here this also should go inside an array so you can put a left and right bracket now let's run this script 
so we got the same result 2 3 4 5 right so the five lines of code here we change it to two lines of code in this case we don't need any extra array also right so here we are dealing with the list right or the array so this feature is called a list comprehension in python so now coming to selenium i'll explain what are the usages of this single line for loop in selenium also i will show you one example with if condition inside the single line for loop okay so i let me open flipkart website and let's take some list of web elements that so that we can use an array right so here uh, we can see a list of uh, elements are there two of purpose grocery mobiles so there are three three six nine elements are there right so we can take the uh, web elements uh, path of this nine elements a common element so that it will highlight all these nine elements right let me take an XPath or CSS selector or any locator for that. Let me inspect it. So we've got one uh, XPath which is highlighting all this uh, nine web elements. So we can take up that element. Okay. So let's uh, start defining the driver. So I have defined a driver already. And now we can give the URL driver dot get off and Flipkart URL we can give. Now let's find out the uh, elements. Elements is equal to driver dot find elements by uh, it should be find elements, right? Because this is a list of web elements. So it should be find elements and by uh, we are using xpath here so find elements by xpath we can add that xpath here now let's say so we have all these web elements right now let's say i want to iterate through all these web elements and i want to print the text of each web element okay for that uh, uh, we can declare an empty array and let us iterate through this element using the for loop a normal for loop Uh, for element in uh, elements and array dot append off uh, we can append the text of each element to this so that uh, so what function we can use so we have a selenium input function text right in order to get the text so we can give element dot text and then we can print out the array print off array now let us run this script so it opened up flipkart website see all the nine web element text are printed in the console you can see right so this is the normal way of uh, doing and now what is our motive we have to reduce the number of lines of code right so before that uh, let me change this uh, code uh, to some other format so instead of printing the array in this uh, inside this function what we can do we can just return this array inside this function and uh, we can print this array in the at the end of this uh, program okay now let us turn we should get the same result so we got the same result right let me also change one more thing uh, let me store into a, a variable this uh, returned value returned array element text is equal to one line dot get all and then we can print this element text now coming to a function see now we have this uh, one two three four lines of code right so we can reduce it to a single line let's see that let me comment out all these lines and we can write return what we need uh, the text of the element right so element dot text so what is element here element is nothing but the element in elements right it's a member in the elements so for element in elements 
so you can give any name for the variable right instead of element you can give any name if you want to avoid the confusion so return element dot text for element in elements so that it will iterate through each element in the elements and finally it will return an array right so that you can uh, declare it inside an array using the brackets so all these uh, lines of code we change it to we reduce to a single line of code right using this wonderful python feature now let me run this uh, file we got the same result we got the text of all these nine nine web elements right now let me show you one example where we can use uh, some if condition so how we can write a single line for loop if there is any if condition so let's see if we can put any condition over here okay let's take um uh, let's put a condition i want to get the text of all the web elements where the text is ending with the letter s okay so we have few web elements top of first mobiles uh, electronics appliances right all these elements are uh, ending with the uh, text s so we can take up all only those elements by iterating through the array so we can put a condition now if element dot text ends with so ends with is a selenium condition right selenium function so element dot text dot ends with and we can add the letter s right so that it will take only those web elements whose element uh, text is ending with the character s now let us run the script See now we got only those web elements where the text is ending with letter S, right? Only four web elements. So this is how you can write uh, if loop, if condition inside the single line for loop. Similarly, you can use else condition also, okay? So what if uh, if we have if we are writing in the normal thing uh, normal for loop? If you are putting this if condition also in the normal for loop, how it will look like? So it will be looking like this right the number of lines it got even more bigger so the uh, always uh, the best way is to go with the single line for loop and use whatever you want to write in that single line so we could achieve the same functionality whatever is being written in the six lines of code into a single line right so that's it guys i hope this video is helpful for you and we will see with some other interesting content in our next video thanks for watching bye thank you